what's going on Elevate Youth? My name is Kason. I am so excited to see you guys today and I am so excited for today's game. We're going to have a arm wrestling tournament. Now, I'm a little nervous for this one, all right? I've been I've been out of the gym for the past few weeks, but I'm going to give it my all and we're going to we're going to see how this goes. So, now to introduce my opponents. First up, we got the bald man himself, Mr. Zaddy Stevens! Come on! Come on! Yeah, <laughs> he's already, he's not ready for like uh, arm wrestling. He's like, actually. See, you, you just made me mad now? Yeah. So you're gonna lose? Okay, my goal. Next up, we got Mr. Employee of the Month, Isaac Ruiz. Big pleasure! Bro, after he's, he's gonna go like, it was my pleasure. I'm usually the reigning champ for every game, so I'm just letting y'all know. Should we like no, square so. up like UFC, where we're just like, yeah, we got like this little thing in mind. That's like, <laughs> whoa, whoa, break it up, break it up. All right, here we go. Next, we got the second tallest person who will be on the screen today, Mr. Elliot Mendoza. I thought you meant George. <laughs> Elliot, there you go. Yes. There you go. So look at what that guy. This is the guy who edits all of our videos. Very good. So let's give him a shout out. That's yes. good. We'll awesome. Part. Okay, so first round, we're going to have Isaac versus Elliot, and then the second round will be me versus Steven. So first up, Isaac and Elliot. Are you guys ready? I have a stage. Wait, I'm not, I, I don't know. <laughs> right, I will count you guys down. Are you guys ready? So do we hold on like this? Yeah. Just making sure. Can we hold the table? Can we hold the table? Or uh, you behind? can. Can do whatever you want. I said we should. Okay. Okay, here we go. Elliot, are you ready? I'm ready, dude. Isaac, are you ready? Let's go! Three, two, one, go! Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what he wants. The 
champ. Reigning champ. Yes. Hey, should we we should get a girls round? Too. Yeah, Ariona. Yes. All right, Ariona and Shannon, get up here. We're gonna see it. Yeah. Are we going? Yeah. Are we going? Yeah. Oh man. Here we go. Here we go. Go, Ariona Gamroski. Hey, women. Oh, I clean fight, especially with you, Janet. Hey, guys. Actually, I will be the one. It's usually me who wins. So, I don't think anyone was shocked by that. It's your boy, okay? I got the body of a ninja turtle, the neck of a pit bull, um, and the haircut of George Lopez some days. Um, so I'm just a little mix of everything. But you know what all that mix does? It makes me a winner. I always have to win. If you know me, I'm always like competitive. That's just who I am. If you know who my dad is, then you know me, I'm driven to win. That's all I can do. And you know what? The only person I lose to still is my dad. In every game. Even Monopoly. I still lose to him. But everyone else, I destroy. But, not everyone can beat me at games. But even I tend to lose to. Even in life sometimes. I think even now, I've been talking to a couple guys in my e-group. And I've been asking them, hey, how's school going? How's this? And I've heard a lot of, you know... I'm not gonna say complaints, but I've heard a lot of, you know, constructive criticism towards how school's being done. With Zoom, there's so many projects, there's all these things that you gotta maintain. Cause you, you're supposed to go to school at your house. And who's at your house? Your mom, maybe your dad, maybe your brother, maybe your sister, maybe your grandparents. And they got life too. So all this life's supposed to happen. And you're supposed to have good grades, while you gotta worry about your little brother who's running around screaming, or you gotta worry about, you know, your mom who's cooking and she's trying to do her job and then she's getting frustrated with you or your dad or whoever's there with you. And I can bet that you feel weak at times. You're like, how can I do it? That kind of feels like every single day you're like this and you're struggling. Will I do good with school? Actually, I have family problems. Which one do I gotta try to beat? And you know what? That's life. But I can tell you something about that is it's great when you're weak. It's actually the best possible place you could be in. No one's ever gonna tell you that. Everyone's always gonna tell you, be strong. Never give up. Ne never show signs of weakness. Not with our God. Our God thrives when we're weak. He actually says it's great for us. And here's how. It says in 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So let me ask you this. Let me, let me play with your mind a little bit. How do we know people are strong? Do we, do we just see them as babies? They're like, that one's gonna be strong. He's, he's got a big arm. No, you see a strong person when there's difficulties, when there's challenge. That no one can be made strong unless there's gonna be a point of weakness. Even when you're strong, even when you're, you know, weightlifting. When I was in football, I was like a huge, like, gym junkie. I didn't look like this then. I looked way better. But I remember when I would go to the gym, right? And I'm short, okay? And I'd be playing in football against like six, three dudes, right? And I'd be expected to, you know, hit them and push them to the ground because I was the running back. I had to get through that line 
these are six three dudes so they're like up here and i'm really small okay so but i was known for being strong how did i get strong because i had to get some weakness i had to put a lot of weight and it would be tough sometimes i would scream when i'd be doing you know uh what do you, what do you call it oh my gosh i'm losing my train of thought a squat i would i would be screaming and my coach would yell at me in my face do it do it do it do it but it's in those moments when you're weak when you're down you gotta get back up you gotta push past it but there's always a point of being down and right now you can be in that down place you're trying to maintain school your family your friends your relationships and i bet it's difficult and i bet it's sometimes you're like how am i supposed to do this i'm only 15 i'm only 16 am i expected to manage everything no you were never meant to do it alone see it says here it's in our weakness his power is sufficient you and I can never do everything alone. You and I need a maker, a God, who is stronger than you and I. And he can help you. And he can heal you. And he can help your family maintain this whole busy schedule. All you need to do today is accept that you're weak. All you need to do today is accept that you can't do it alone. And I know a lot of us are prideful. I can do it. Oh, uh, no, Isaac, I don't need God. No, Isaac, I don't like worship. No, Ariana, please. I don't play games at you. That's lame. Just, I, I'm telling you this. If it's so lame, then why at the end of the night are you always still questioning how you can do it? Where's God? Because if you were good, and if you had everything together, you would never be questioning yourself. I'm not saying that with God, I don't question myself. No, I question myself, but then I also to remember that I have a God who told me that I can make it? Do you have a God who's telling you you can make it? Or are you alone? I'm challenging you today. Let go of your pride. Honestly, a lot of kids these days think, I'm not prideful, I just have a hard life. No, you're prideful. You can have a hard life, but you can be with a lot of pride because you think you're better. You think you can do it alone. And let me tell you this, you can't. You won't and you never will. If you think you, you can't do it now, I promise you 20 years later, you're gonna have the same issue. But if you have a God who tells you, it's okay that you can't, you can't do this. It's okay that you're frustrated. It's okay that you're struggling in math. It's okay that you're struggling in school, but I have a plan for you. You just got, you need a partner with God so you can move forward. And that's what I did when I was younger. When I was in high school, I was a struggling student. Teachers told me I was stupid to my face in front of the class. One teacher stopped the whole class to tell me, he said, Isaac, you know you're an idiot, right? In front of everybody. You know how much that sucked? It was terrible. My teacher's telling me I'm an idiot in front of all my friends. And that could have broken me. But you know what I said? You know what? I told him this in front of the class. Maybe I am an idiot. But I'll tell you this. I'm going to test better than everybody else here. I'm going to work harder than everybody else here. And I did. Because I knew I wasn't stupid. But I had a God above who told me, yes, you are more. You can do it. And I want that same God to help you today. I want him to help you in your home right now. So if that's you and you're tired of doing life alone, you're tired of being weak, you're tired of just feeling this way but with no end in sight, lower your pride. Admit to God that you're weak. Admit to God that you're struggling. And I promise you, he'll come and heal you. He'll come and help you. But you can't do it alone. So if that's you, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes wherever you are. And if you can't, if you're driving, don't close your eyes, please. <laughs> but I just wanna pray for you, okay? Father God, I thank you for every single person that's listening to this. I pray that you would just touch them. You would help them to know that it's okay to be weak. That is in our weakness, we are made strong because of you. So I pray, God, no matter how much weight is on our shoulders, no matter how much we're being pressed down, I pray, Lord Father, that you would give us the strength to get back up today. For those who are asking for you to come into their life, I pray, Lord Jesus, you would, you would reach into their lives. You would be their Lord and Savior. You would forgive us even of all of our sins because we're imperfect. And I pray that you would let your Holy Spirit fill us so that we can be made strong today. So I thank you, Lord Father, for everything that's happening, Lord God. Even with how dark the world is, I pray that you would make us the light in the midst of the darkness. And I pray that you would help us maintain our homes, maintain school, our friends, our family, our relationships, everything, God. You would help us. Give us real plans, Lord God. Whether that means going 
to get school help from, tutors, teachers, whatever. I pray, Lord Jesus, that we would go above and beyond so that we could be made strong as we partner with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, well, if that was you, and you know what you're saying, hey, I said this prayer, but now how do I get connected? How do I not stay alone? You can come check us out on our Instagram page, underscore elevate youth underscore or you can come check us out on wednesdays at 6 20 p.m and you can check us out in our main church parking lot we always got snacks we got games and we're adhering to COVID regulations so come on find a safe place we want to get partnered with you and there and on instagram you can reach out to us we can get you connected to an e-group so that you're always constantly you know uh in connection with somebody and also my e-group is starting to play the game among us i don't know if you, all y'all have heard about that but it's like there's one imposter in among us but it's cool stuff we all do cool things in our in our uh, e-group so get connected we love you we can't wait to see you this wednesday 